Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you a new lipstick from Dior. It's about Rouge Dior and it is the shade, the iconic shade 999 that was revisited in a very velvet version. So this new couture lipstick is available in 75 shades, so a huge amount. And in my YouTube channel you can find also another video about nude look, the new nude shade. So have a look if you're interested and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for... So as I said before, 999 was a very iconic red shade from Dior and you can find it already with a different texture so this is a new addition to to the range so I want to show you how it looks on my lips I wanted to compare with another amazing velvet lipstick iconic I should say also and I'm talking about the true velvet lipstick by Lisa Eldridge so this amazing velvet texture is so particular and I really think that Lisa Eldridge was one of the first that introduced this magic velvet texture. So, so here is the swatch of 999 from Dior and you see it's um, beautiful and I don't call it true red because in my opinion, it, it has a little bit of warmth, so a little bit of um, red-orange, I think. So, so it's a red that really moves towards warm shades. Since you can find this lipstick in different texture, you can notice sometimes a little shift of shade. So the undertones probably come out a little bit different when we have a texture shiny or matte for example. In this case I noticed that the warmth component really comes out a little bit more than the satin finish for example. I have also a video about 999 lipstick by Dior so I put the link here, I don't remember here or here but uh, in the upper part you can find the link directly and I put it also in my info box so if you're interested I swatch it with a different texture so I have also this cute mini size of the matte finish you can see they are pretty similar but this is the matte and this is the new velvet you can see how the color really looks a little bit different in a way even if it's the same shade i noticed that the velvet finish looks uh, a little bit more orangey so this warmth component it really shows off i take a brush i use a mirror the mirror of the eye palette i'm wearing now is the beautiful golden meadow from um, chanel there is also a video about this palette if you are interested and now let's see how this lipstick looks like so texture is very comfortable my flat brush for lipstick is the brush from urban decay this this one the one from uh, Naked, I think. Yes, Naked Palette. It was a beautiful um, brush, but it doesn't work for my eyes, so I use it for my lips, uh, and it's very brilliant. It's flat, but pointed. Okay, this is how it looks. So this is 999 velvet. The color is like this. I think it's a very beautiful finish and you can see it's not a real true red color almost on me but I think in general because when I use this shade I noticed that people with warm undertones really look spectacular with this tone 
and instead uh, I loved uh, a little bit more cool red shade by Dior on people that have pale skin like me for example but you can really mix it with your makeup so if your makeup has a little bit of warmth this um, this lipstick will look amazing in this case I match it with a golden meadow palette because it has this peachy warm gold undertones and I think it matches the texture is very comfortable it's very light in a way and I noticed this thing also about the um, matte formula for the nude look I mean it, it, it's extremely light in a very beautiful way I mean and you have a uh, really this uh, velvet effect uh, on your lips you see so I didn't test it drinking going out or something else neither wearing a mask so, so I can't really tell you if this is long lasting but I can really mm, feel it part of my lips so you see even pressing the pigment chain a little bit and I think it disappeared in a beautiful blurry way like Lisa Eldridge lipsticks but I can't tell because I haven't tried it instead this one I can tell because I tried so many times so 999 matte version the one I had before I mean so you can see now I remove it but it really stained So color is very similar but in a way this matte version is more luminous instead of the velvet even if it's matte I mean you see you can see more red intensity in this in this shade I think they are both beautiful as I said before you can catch the difference also in the swatches so this is the velvet and this is the matte now I quickly applied this beautiful velvet ribbon from Lisa Eldred you see it's a velvet finish and 999 is like a mix of velvet ribbon and velvet morning as undertones but I use this velvet ribbon just to let you show the, the texture that's a little bit different from the velvet we seen before so if I should compare um, this uh, Dior Rouge formula to Lisa Eldridge velvet formula I should say that Lisa Eldridge uh, lipsticks are um, velvet but a little bit more creamy instead of Dior is a little bit more dry in texture and your and your effect is a little bit more powdery in a way Instead, uh, yes, you have this little bit of uh, luminosity in Lisa Eldred lipsticks. But they are both beautiful. And um, you see, Velvet Ribbon is Velvet Ribbon, in my opinion. It's a beautiful, stunning red. Instead, Dior 999, the iconic shade from Dior, is a little bit more orangey red. So he, here is... Uh, Velvet Ribbon by Lisa Eldridge. This is 999 Velvet and this is 999 Matte. So on my face I complete the look wearing Mali's blush by Chanel and also this beautiful bronzer by Dior. You see me using always this beautiful bronzer. I love it. I'm wearing also uh, these two products. For me very important luminous silk by armani this is my favorite foundation and this is becca in pearl as an highlighter for my eyes i used also um chanel col ambre and uh, brune agape put uh, a little touch of this um, golden shade this one i mean on my lashes to add a little bit of gold i don't know if you see the reflection but I see in my mirror a little bit of shiny effect on my 
on my lashes. So, so now I remove a velvet ribbon. So here I'm back with a 999 velvet. And I have to say, I love all these formulas. Uh, yes, this is a little bit more less creamy, as I said before. Instead, the Liz Aldrich Velvet Lipsticks is a little bit more creamy and maybe also more comfortable for many people that likes creamy texture. And they feel maybe more moisturized. That's, that's what I mean. I think these reds are beautiful to wear also on St. Valentine's Day. So here is a choice also for a present, I mean. This is my finished look. I hope this video could be helpful for you. If it's so, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me also on Instagram. See you soon. Bye!